A decade on from the Concorde crash, a trial has finally opened in France to decide once and for all who was to blame. At the center of the case, a titanium metal strip that fell off a Continental Airlines plane just before the Air France jet powered down the runway at Paris's Charles de Gaulle Airport. A seven-year investigation concluded the strip had shredded one of the tires, sending debris into an engine and sparking a fire that brought the plane down. But lawyers for the U.S. airline claim it had nothing to do with the crash. Twenty-five witnesses have, for the last ten years, said they saw Concorde on fire eight seconds and 700 meters before it hit the metal strip. That means the accident was inevitable long before the strip from the Continental Airlines DC-10 entered into play. Continental is in the dark, along with five individuals, including French aviation officials accused of failing to rectify structural weaknesses. But Air France, which along with British Airways developed and operated the supersonic jet, say design flaws were not at fault. For the last seven years, the length of this inquiry, everyone has said that Air France has nothing to do with this accident. You could maybe hold maintenance problems against it, but regarding the accident, there's absolutely no cause and effect. It's a mammoth trial for France. 800,000 pages of documents, more than 500 pieces of evidence, and dozens of witnesses and experts. But with one notable absence, relatives of the 113 victims, most of them German holidaymakers. This is going to be a very cold technical trial because the families of the victims can't be present. They sign compensation deals which prevent them from taking part, either as plaintiffs or witnesses. Victims' families will be watching from afar, and the wait is likely to be long. The trial is expected to run until at least May, and a judgment won't be due until several months later.